What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight... Tonight! Okay, making their debut on the channel tonight... Tonight! We have nothing more. Yes, indeed, how about that? Nothing more making their debut on the channel. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to do all the clicks and the likes and the bibbity bibbity bop, do me a favor, before you do all those things, please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from Buzzit, and Buzzit wanted to see me react to this song by nothing more called this is the time. Now, have I heard the song before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, wait a minute, hang on, this sounds really familiar. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This was posted by Sirius XM, okay, and the video has 1.8 million views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Nothing more. This is the time. Ballast. Live at Sirius XM Octane. Cool. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. When did we become these sinking stones? When did we build this broken home? Holding each other like ransom notes. Dropping our hearts to grip our brother's throats I, I'm on the bottom of the ocean floor I for I Drowning just to keep the score Breaking the world outside ourselves Surrounded by mirrors in a sea I'm having a couple of bands, in particular the lead singers from a couple of bands, flash through my mind right now. The first band that comes to mind, Fair to Midland. They, they kind of remind me of Fair to Midland a little bit. Uh, their sound, the groove, their approach, uh, their songwriting, uh, their execution, very similar in style to Fair to Midland. Um, in particular, the lead vocalist. Um, the lead singer, uh, from Fair to Midland, uh, Darrow, he used to do some crazy stuff with his hands, uh, against his throat, uh, whether it be something as simple as what this guy's doing, just taking two fingers on your side and kind of uh, jarring it a little bit. I've also seen him go as far as to take his entire hand, all five fingers and well, four fingers and his thumb and grab inside, like actually 
go. I, I don't want to do it because it hurts. But he'll actually, he, he would go into his throat and grab a hold like this of his voice box. And when I say shake it, I don't mean this. I mean this. He would be violent with it. And I would watch him and go, you are going to end up in a hospital. Dear Lord. And he never did. And he never damaged his voice box. But I remember watching him a few times doing it that violently going, we're going to be calling an ambulance. This guy is going to kill himself. Dear Lord. Um, but this guy kind of reminds me of doing that, like doing the, because I mean, Daryl would do that too. Two fingers in and just do that. I mean, he would do that quite often too. It gets a good effect. It's a really good effect. Speaking of effects. <laughs> now, this is where another band pops into mind. A, 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 a band called Alternate Sound of Life. Um, Another band that I've, well, I, I didn't play with them, but the band that I was in at the time shared a stage with them. Um, and we did a number of shows together. And I would always be amazed by the vocalist effects rack. I mean, this guy had an effects rack. I kid you not. It, it, he had so many different effects. Uh, and not just single effects racks. He had like, I don't know, like 20 or 30 slots, all full, completely full of racks and uh, effects racks and harmonizers and sustainers and splitters and everything else. And this guy had the, he had to, he, I, this is where I had to give him credit. He had to go through and program everything with a click, you know, playing along to a click to know when to trigger what effect at what time at what note and, you know, everything like that. But man, he would sound by himself. He would have like five, six, eight different voices all going at the same time off of his one, all in different harmonies, entering at different places. And it was, it was impressive to see. I see a lot of that being used here with the vocal effects like at the beginning. So very cool to see. Uh, brings back some good memories, that's for sure. Um, Let's keep going. I am, I'm seriously getting fair to Midland vibes off this band, though. I, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying that. I like the use of the second vocalist, having that, able, having the ability to have one voice sustain, you know, even enter with a with a prominent line, and then here comes the lead vocalist right behind it. I, I I love that. I really do. Good lord, am I ever getting fair to Midland Shades with these guys? They use more processing than Fair to Midland would use. I mean, they got the key. They they got their their laptop doing all the the synth pad stuff. All the samplings, um, all the all the tweaks of the effects. The, the, the computer is handling pretty much all of it, but they are really, really strumming up some serious recollections of Fair to Midland. Um, the vocal approach, definitely not just the approach, but the execution as well. 
um, the guitar, the bass, keyboard being utilized, stripped down drum set, nothing too crazy with the drums, but just enough to get the job done. All, all telltale signs of Fair to Midland. I wonder if Fair to Midland influenced these guys. I'm willing to bet they did. I'm willing to bet they did. Um, let's keep going here. <laughs> God. in like that that is so fair to midland oh my god <laughs> oh my goodness gracious i i'm digging these guys i am i mean I, look i know there's a lot of digitalization i know there's a lot of dj pad synth work i know there's a lot of sampling i know there's a lot of processing there is a ton of processing i know there is and i'm not really a big fan of that part but i see the necessity for it i, I see why they're doing it and the, the effect that they're getting out of it i mean i god dang it i i, I can't even say shades of fair to midland it's more than that it's more than that these guys must have been influenced by fair to midland they must have been uh I, i'm wondering I'm wondering if maybe they were a little bit influenced by alternate sound of life as well. I'm wondering because the vocal effects that I'm hearing, the vocal layering I'm hearing, I mean, a part of me wonders. A part of me wonders. Uh, let's finish this out. Let's finish this out. Back up a little bit. Five minutes later. Wow. <laughs> that, that. I'm impressed. I am impressed. I'm impressed for a number of reasons. Um, and the thing is, and this is going to sound like a total contradiction of terms, a lot of the things about them that impressed me are actually not that impressive. <laughs> But I'm impressed by it nonetheless. I know that makes no sense, but uh, I promise you, in the exp in my explanation, I'm I'm gonna do my best to make sense of that for you. Um, I'll see you in the review, and hopefully, I can make that make sense. I'll see you there. Well, there you go, folks. That was nothing more with a song called "This Is the Time," and this was a request from Buzz It. Okay, I have a score here. It is gonna require some explanation. 
and I hope it's not too much, but it there, there, there's quite a bit I need to say, so y'all might want to get comfortable. Maybe grab a snack, possibly. Uh, we're we're going to be here for a little while, just bear with me. I'm going to do my best to get through this as quickly as I can, but I, I don't see this being under five minutes, I'll tell you that right now. Let's start off with the score. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give that an 8.6. Yep, 8.6. I feel great about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? Great band. Great band and great song. Uh, I was really, really enjoying that tune. I, 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 I dug it. I absolutely dug it. There is without, there is no question I dug that song. Um, really, really strong vibes from Fair to Midland throughout the entire song. Now, I don't know if these guys were influenced by Fair to Midland or not. I have a feeling they were, uh, and I don't blame them because Fair to Midland was a phenomenal band. It's a real shame they had to break up, but I, I, I'm not mad at them for breaking up. I completely understand why they broke up, and I support the reason why they broke up. I am not mad at them in any way, shape, or form. I get it. I just wish there was a way they could reform, but unfortunately, that's never going to happen um, for legal reasons, and I, I absolutely get it. Um, but I was seriously <laughs> getting shades of Fair to Midland from these guys. Uh, everything about them, the, the bass playing, the, the, the drumming, the guitar playing, the vocals. Absolutely, this guy... I, I don't know who he is, but he absolutely reminded me of Darrow, without question. Another band I was also getting vibes from them was uh, uh, Alternate Sound of Life. Um, in particular, their songs uh, Teething and New Grounds. Uh, there's, another, there's another song for them called Medortho... Uh, uh, what? Um, Medorthophobia, I think is how you pronounce it. Yeah, I, I think... I don't know. Uh, maybe not that song so much, but... Definitely, definitely teething and definitely new grounds. Um, the way that they were using the vocal processing at the beginning, getting all those layers and all those voicings off of one voice. Yeah, that I, I was definitely getting ASL vibes from that. Um, but fair to midland vibes without question. Uh, like I said, I don't know if these guys were influenced by them or not, but they definitely gave off a little more than just a vibe. Um, I was absolutely digging the song. I dug everything about the song. The, the vocal staggering, having the two vocalists with the, you know, the the, uh, the backing vocals come in with that prominent line, and then the lead vocals coming in right behind them. Piggybacking. It was really cool. It was really well done. Uh, very effective, too. Um, the bass player taking over and doing the keyboard parts. I mean, it worked. It, it definitely worked. I, I kind of wonder if these guys, you know, have thought about getting just a dedicated keyboard player and a dedicated bass player and i don't know what the other i don't know what the guy would want to do if he would want to be the keyboard player or the bass player something tells me he'd want to be the bassist get a dedicated keyboard player you know and just let him do his thing um but i was really impressed with the sound of these guys very full very rich sound even with the processing now here's here's where i'm here's where i'm torn and this is why the score wasn't higher they did rely on the processing quite a bit. Uh, now, I don't know if they had to rely on the processing for the purpose of that show that was stripped down, or if they had to rely on, or they used that processing like that every time they play live. I, I don't know. I, I'm not sure what the circumstances are. I've never been a very big fan of processing, uh, in particular, instrumental sounds. Like, vocals, I kind of get it to an extent, but overly processing instrumental sounds to the point where like you have an acoustic guitar trying to sound like a pipe organ or something like that i, I don't know if i'm a big fan of that I, I i've never been a huge fan of it um i know they're doing it for effect i understand but I, i've just never been a big fan of it i will say that the processing was well done it, it, it sounded good it sounded tight the 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 triggering was spot on i didn't hear any anything off as far as timing or delivery so it, it was well programmed out well thought out 
and well executed. So I, I gotta give him credit for that, but at the same time, I, I just I, I'm not, I've just never been a big fan of it. So that did bring down the score slightly, if I'm being honest here. But overall, very enjoyable, very enjoyable, and I would have absolutely no problem hearing more from these guys. I'm actually curious to see how what other songs they have and how much those other songs sound like Fair to Midland or Alternate Sound of Life. And I'm because I'm, I'm telling you, this song screams Fair to Midland. It really does. So 8.6, I feel really good with that score. Uh, very talented musicians, uh, vocalists all across the board. And I would absolutely be open to seeing more from these guys without question. I'm, I, I, I could end up becoming a fan of these guys. It could happen. It just kind of depends on what else they got. So 8.6, that's it. That's my final score. And that's where we're gonna stay. So 8.6, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's going to do it for tonight, folks. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.